All trying to process what happened early Tuesday morning when the key bridge in Baltimore collapsed. Most of us have seen this video and it's difficult, difficult for all to watch adults included. But what about the impact on kids? Cindy Crane is a clinical psychotherapist based in Bethesda and she is kind enough to join us for a few minutes to talk about this. Uh, Cindy, it's, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, let's just dive right in here. What are some ways uh, to talk to your kids depending on their age? When they've seen something like this and they've been traumatized about this, keep asking you about, will this happen to us? Sure. Well, first of all, I think that it's when we see these images, it's hard for us to watch, of course, and it's hard for our kids. Um, and I kind of think of it in three groups of elementary, middle, and then high school, older kids. So I kind of recommend that any any child younger than seven is maybe don't bring it up to them. They may or may not really see what's going on and understand it. However, you know, look for the signs and keep an open dialogue. And then with middle school kids, kind of 12 and older is they do understand and maybe are also talking about it in school. So uh, we, we want to give them the platform to be able to talk about it and listen and listen for what they're understanding, maybe what they're not understanding. And then with high school and older kids, I think it's, you know, give them the platform. They want to talk about it. They want to talk about their thoughts or their feelings and, you know, validate for all kids mm -hmm. that, um, your their your feelings make sense. What if you're you know you know kids are talking about it at school and your child really hasn't brought it up? Is this something that you you know broach this uh, topic with them? Great question. I think not bring it up um, unless they want to talk about it. Now, if you're starting to see symptoms or signs in some other ways, or you think they're getting misinformation in the younger age group. It's a great idea to reframe it um, for older kids. Don't you know? Listen to what they're saying, echo what they're saying, and try not to provide graphic or unnecessary details more and, than they've already seen. And before we let you go, um, give us some practical tips here. As parents, we don't like to lie to our kids. Sometimes we do those little what they call white lies. But if a child comes to you and says, "Are we going to be okay?" Every time we cross a bridge or get in the car, what's the real answer here? The answer is a top level. Statistically, yes, we will be okay. But short term, we can just validate. It's scary, but as we continue to practice going over bridges, we see what good job they're doing engineering wise to make sure we're safe and just breathe slowly and deeply as you're maybe going over the bridge and mm -hmm. kind of feeling some of those feelings. All right. Your advice is always so helpful and it's, uh, you know, we're really excited and happy that you've joined us for this really important topic here. Cindy Crane, thank you. Thanks so much.